good lord this content reveal might have been the biggest one ever so many improvements quality of life left and right and they still added more transfigured gems on top of 14 new uniques and a new tier of maps i'm speechless okay technically i'm not because i have to make this video but you get the idea hi i'm daniel and necropolis league on march 29th 2024 cannot come soon enough the 3.24 league focuses on crafting and fusing the modifiers of corpses together to make the thickest items of all time that's at least what i got out of it you know i think this might be a very weird league because every area will have choose up monsters no matter if you like it or not you cannot opt out of it and say no thank you i don't want more difficulty no you'll have more difficulty you just have to deal with it on top of that this time it's also on the atlas passive tree and thus can be modified in the end game with keystones i really love that and i kind of want this now for every league in the future before jumping in though here's my full reaction to the trailer and afterwards we're going to talk about some of the details like sextant changes so let's just get straight into it with the trailer for path of exile necropolis Ooh. I'm ready for sick music. Cold flesh, dirt, maggots, and ghosts. Our job is to keep them where they belong. It's your first night, so you'll need this. A ghostly lantern for ghastly tinkering. What? 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 You learn to peer into the souls of the dead. You learn how to twist them. Okay. Meet me in the necropolis. You can pilfer shiny things from a corpse, but you can pilfer glorious things from a soul. I need a grave digger. <laughs> Just coming out of the egg. Do you have 17 maps? Excuse me, what the fuck? Multiple atlas. Oh my god, we got loadouts! Yes, Scarab Overhaul. We s I expected that. New pen, pen ultimate boss? What the fuck is that called? Quality of life features? Oh yeah. More transfigure gems? Classic. Is that high street work? Wait. Pen. Oh! The job's hard, but the pay's good. What do you say? Oh, sorry, you're back, my bad. So we got a brand new league called Necropolis, which juices up monsters and gives us items that allow us to modify monsters in that area. This gives us access to bigger and better corpses, which can then be used to craft big items. I'm just a bit sad that it's the whole beast system again, in which you have to manually itemize it if you wanted to trade corpses. I really wish it would just throw it in a tab for you, but I understand why they wouldn't do that, because that's a bit too automated. Some people will itemize it manually though, and I'm sure they will make some big money from this. I know you crafters, you're rock hard just thinking about it. <laughs> going away from necropolis itself this has been a monstrous reveal first off we got tattoos back but i don't think they showed us which ones so if plus one projectiles is back i'm going to be a very happy boy second uber bosses are now itemized and you have to beat tier 17 maps which are also new we got brand new map layouts and uber versions of known bosses like lycia from sanctum and katarina from betrayal the short clips we got during the reveal were just insane lycia was using those spinning blades to chase you down i'm genuinely scared help i teased it earlier but sextants are gone which i personally love having to swap between three uis to get the most juice out of your map always felt weird and annoying 
especially because they never lasted long enough. Now the focus is on reintroducing the juice from Sextant back into the Atlas skill tree, which does change again to really give the tools to spawn as many breaches and legions and probably much more. Speaking of legion, which I love running, used scarabs in a variety of ways. And I showed that off in my headhunter guide a few weeks ago. A lot of people watched that video, so thank you so much for that. And I will have to remake that entire video now because they overhauled scarabs. I wanna die. <laughs> GGG, why? I'm not mad. Scarabs now have different versions and aren't just an upgrade from the one below. So the rusted legion scarabs gives you one additional legion, but the polished one juices that content up further, but doesn't give you an additional legion. This is probably the case with many scarabs or all of them. So if you wanted to juice up legion like a lot, you probably want to use polished legion scarabs and then everything above it and, you know, go ham. Um, by the way, you need to finish a tier 17 map if you want that fifth map device slot. Just FYI. And master missions are gone. Yup, see ya. Insane to think they can now appear all at the same time during your map. So if you love masters, you probably like this change. Path of Exile feels absolutely crazy now. They removed and added something controversial. You can't put your instant skills on left click anymore. It's gone. You now have to use the new automation and call to arms gem for instant skills and war cries. You know, it's partially good, partially bad, but you know, we'll be fine. Now let's go over many, but not all, of the quality of life changes in 3.24. Here we go. <laughs> we now have loadouts for the Atlas skill tree, allowing us to swap between strategies on the fly between maps. So now you could run a few maps with a bunch of rogue axles in them, then swap and do your legion farming, and then swap again, and maybe you have some tower defense shenanigans with Blight. Pantheon powers are now league-wide if you unlock them once before and can be turned on and off. So no more having to do the same three to four maps with a new char to get the Pantheon powers upgraded. Just do it once in a league and you're done. You can use Control Shift and left click to move stackable items from your inventory into the trade window and back. Super nice for trading. Finally, we can hold Control and left click to continuously use socket and quality currencies. So no more spamming and breaking your wrist just trying to six link an item. At last, the witch has gotten audio dialogue for the second part of Path of Exile. This is not quality of life, I just really wanted to mention it. <laughs> well, there is one more important thing, and I would love a moment of silence. <sighs> Rest in peace, Penance Brains. <laughs> oh no, my skill that did 150 million now does 70 million. Oh shucks. <laughs> Jokes aside, playing 3.24 might feel very different with all these changes. It's like we got half a new game with just one patch. Endgame is going to feel crazy new and exciting as well because of a new map tier and changes to the entire Atlas skill tree. Oh, and then I'm sorry, I forgot about the scarabs as well, like good lord. I'm really excited to play the first three days live on my Twitch, so come by and say hello during the league launch. Also, what is your league starter going to be? I'm having my eyes on Bane, Stormbrand, and maybe like the new Transfigured Ice Shot. I think they all might be good, but only time will tell. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, maybe subscribe. And don't forget to stay hydrated, gamers.